Hi guys, welcome back. We have another card from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. This is called the Chickadee on a Fence Post Stamp. And it has a couple of sentiments. It says, praying for you, just breathe. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you. And it has this fence post with a little bit of barbed wire around it and then some wild flowers. And I did color this. I used um, the reverse cloud stencil with some uh, ink blending on the sky and then I colored the actual image in with some gel pens so you can see some of the sparkle in there it gives it a nice kind of spring look but I think this is a nice uh, stamp set like if someone is going through a tough time and you just kind of want to help them out so I'm going to make it a little bit more monotone so what we're going to do is we have it in our mini misty i took the foam out because this is a red rubber stamp and i have some dark uh, blue card stock here i'm going to take my anti-static tool and go over all of that card stock because we are going to be doing some heat embossing here just make sure that's all nice and coated so we don't get embossing powder stuck where we don't want it and then i am going to use my versamark ink pad for my heat embossing. I have my little blue night rubber stamps handle on the back to hold it in place so I don't drop it. And I want to use my mini misty or my stamp positioning tool to make sure that I get full coverage when I stamp that down. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think I missed a little spot right here in the corner. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. I do want to put the sentiment on here. Um, actually, I'll do the sentiment later. So I'm going to take my card out of the corner. It's stuck down with a little bit of double-sided sticky grid on the back here. Okay, we'll move that aside. I'm gonna bring in just a coffee filter and I am using the white embossing powder, super fine detail from Ranger. And while I sprinkle that on, I am going to turn my heat tool on, just kind of hold it in my lap while that warms up. And then I'm going to take a fine paintbrush and anywhere there's extra powder, I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Okay. That is all heated up. You can tell because when you hold it in the light, it's nice and smooth. There are no bumps. If there's any places that you missed, you can go back in and hit it again, but I think we got it all. Now for the excess powder that's on there, you just want to give it a second to cool down. And then you're just going to wipe with your microfiber towel and it will take off all of that excess powder so you don't see any of it and it's very simple to get all of that detail in the design there i'm going to step it up a little bit more i actually want to stamp the sentiment on white cardstock and we'll just banner we'll banner cut it and put it on there so i just find an extra piece of white cardstock here we go And 
we're going to use some dark navy ink. This is Night of Navy from Stampin' Up! And an ink blending tool. Use whatever you have, but this is a really dark blue. And I'm using a domed dauber here. And I just want to bring in this ombre or this um, vignette look so that your eyes go towards the center. So I'm going to just apply that dark blue ink right on top of my blue paper. And you can see already that you're getting that um, color there. And we're going to wipe it off of the embossing powder, so don't worry about that. But I want these edges to be darkened. You could use black as well. I just think with the blue, it's a little more subtle. It's not as bright. Okay. And then we're going to go back in with our towel again and not only wipe up our table but wipe up that embossing see how that ink comes right off of that embossing okay so now we have this kind of dark area but let me wipe the desk here it's not too distracting because it's just on the edges all right, so for the sentiment, I want to use the Praying For You, and I'm just going to stamp it at the top here, and then we'll banner cut this, and I'm going to use that same color ink. So this way we have the white and the blue in contrast with the blue and the white on the card. I like using navy in place of black because I think sometimes with black cardstock, um, gets kind of lost it's just too dark so I think navy is a good alternative to that I got a little bit extra ink on there let me flip that over and try that again oops there we go that looks good I'm going to bring my trimmer in. to be too fancy. I just want it to be a simple thinking of you kind of note. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut towards the center here. And then from the corner up to the top of that first cut, and then from the corner up to the first cut, and we get a nice fishtail banner. And I am going to take my little ink tool and just lightly ink the edges. foam tape to that just so that sentiment pops up. Super sticky foam tape. I should have used my non-stick scissors. There we go. Oh, 
before I put that down, I want to make sure my panel is cut down the card front size. The piece of paper that I used was five and a quarter by four. I just want to clean that up a little bit. I cut this little edge off here. get it down to five by three and three quarters. Then I can mat it on a five and a quarter by four mat and put it on a five and a half by four and a quarter card base. Let me see if I have one here. we go and then I would just put that on my card base and I have a really simple thinking of you praying for you this could even be a sympathy card um, you know it's still elegant but you don't have to go with all of the coloring and so on so here we have the gel pen the gel pen colored one and here we have the white heat embossed one let me know down in the comment which one you like this just shows the versatility of the stamps for you guys you can do something nice fun vibrant and springy or you can tone it down a little bit if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything that I used, I'll put them down in the description for you. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.